That right there is probably the most dangerous spider we could come across hiking out here in the Costa Rica rainforest. You always have your eyes peeled for different species of snakes you can come across. But the transparency on this frog's body is just super, super fascinating to see up close. All right, guys, well, it is our second night out here at the Costa Rican Amphibian Research Center. And last night we went out on these trails and we found a ton of biodiversity. I'm talking snakes, spiders, and some of the most iconic frog species here in Central America. However, tonight we're going out with the same objective, hike these trails and see what kind of animals we can come across out here in the Costa Rican rainforest. However, the one thing we have on our side today is that it rained most of the time, which means here at night, you can already hear the jungle coming to life. There's gonna be a lot more biodiversity. So if you're ready, let's head on out there. Let's go. Beautiful, check Sorry. this out. That is our first animal of the night. Kind of just woke him up from a little bit of a slum slumber. Gorgeous, and you can see how well they blend into the leaves when they're not spread out, displaying some of their iconic colors. And this is why they're so difficult to find when you're out here hiking without an expert like we are here today. You can see those patented red eyes on full display now. One of the most beautiful frog species you can come across anywhere on the planet. And like I said, maybe the most iconic animal here in all of Costa Rica. And we're only about maybe five or 10 minutes into the night here and we have our first amphibian. But I say we let this frog back right where we found him and we continue searching. Yeah, yeah you could. So right here we have another target species on the trip, the glass frog. And if we're able to get this up close, it's gonna be incredibly fascinating up on camera. Check that out, the second frog on our bucket list. And woo, you can see him jumping all over me and crawling on me now. So this, of course, is the glass frog. Maybe he'll stay comfortable right down there. Maybe he feels a little bit protected. No? Okay, so now he's on the GoPro. And if you get an up close look at this frog, let me know if you can recognize if its face looks familiar at all. And that's because Kermit the Frog, probably the most famous frog on the planet, is designed after the glass frog. You can see the eyes and the face of the glass frog look just like Kermit, which is really, really fascinating to see up close. And you might be wondering where the name glass frog comes from. That's because these frogs actually have a little bit of a transparent body. It's apparent on more some than others. And if you bring the camera down here, and you shine the light and get a real up close shot of it. We're gonna leave this guy alone, continue searching along the stream here, see if we can come across any other animals that are on our bucket list. Here we go, another species of glass frog. We just put the other one back. Look at the transparency and the texture on this frog's body. Wow, and the eyes are just as beautiful but as i was saying we just had our first species of glass frog maybe about 90 seconds ago now we have a second species that we could hear calling from just downstream here spider if you come down here slowly with me you can see right here on this leaf it's a pretty decently sized wandering spider what we're going to try to do here is i have a container specifically meant for this wandering spider I want to see if we can perhaps get it up close for the camera. So when it comes to wandering spiders, besides for that very potent bite that they have, they can also be pretty jumpy and pretty flighty. They actually have the ability to jump fairly far, even for a spider of this size. Perfect. There we go. We got the wandering spider. Wow, check that out. That right there is probably the most dangerous spider we could come across hiking out here in the Costa Rica rainforest. And as you can see here, I was just explaining how jumpy and how flighty these spiders can be. And besides for that potent bite, it's pretty freaky how fast and mobile they are. This spider is packed with a very, very toxic, neurotoxic venom. And a bite from this spider right here, yeah, that would be uh, pretty, pretty bad. Besides for the venomous snakes we can come across out here, I mean, this guy is right up there with some of those snakes even when it comes to its bite. Now these spiders, believe it or not, you might see it against my hand like so and think, that's a pretty good sized spider, that is huge. 
but they actually can grow to larger sizes than this and the Costa Rica variety of the wandering spider actually can have a yellow and red abdomen which is so pretty to see and I'm not sure which subspecies of the wandering spider this is but yet again an absolutely fascinating creature and arachnophobia is so so common out there I know a lot of you guys watching definitely have it and going through the comments on the videos I've done with the black widow spider back home yeah this is the worst nightmare for a lot of you out there and you can see the fangs on this spider just a little bit there if you get an up close shot of it to get focused you got that focus yep oh about as scary as it gets when it comes to arachnids and we've actually seen a few smaller wandering spiders walking along out here tonight but this is by far the largest wandering spider that we have seen i know some of you are thinking out there ray are you going to put the spider on your hand and let it walk around you absolutely not this that would just be a little bit too risky for my first time ever seeing a wandering spider because like i said the bite from the spider it's a very potent neurotoxic venom and that is something i do not want to have injected into my body and another thing about the wandering spider they're actually fairly common in shipments of bananas which gives them the occasional nickname of the banana spider but what we're gonna do is let the spider go back a little bit off the trail we're gonna keep walking see what else we can come across the spider is still not leaving the container there we go that spider is gone okay so first snake species of the night so I'm gonna put my light down there softly pick up the snake come here buddy come here oh, fascinating okay let's see if the snake will just kind of calm down this snake feels so incredibly slithery and they are so slender bodied oh, absolutely fascinating so when we're out here hiking in the rainforest you always have your eyes peeled for different species of snakes you can come across. This is an arboreal species, which means it spends most of, if not all of its life up here in the canopy, not on the floor of the jungle searching for prey. So let's put this snake right back here on the leaf we found it on. Let's see if we can come across a snake that's maybe a little bigger, maybe a little bit more dangerous. All right, another snake species out here walking along the streams. And this right here is a cat-eyed snake, another arboreal species and a pretty skinny snake at that as well. But another beautiful one too, even larger than the snail snake that we just came across a few minutes ago. These guys, they are mildly venomous, however, rear fangs, so they're very much not prone to biting. So what I think I'm gonna do is leave the snake sitting right where it's at, and we're gonna continue the search. Wow, check this out. It's our second cat-eyed snake of the night. This one even larger than the last. Another fascinating specimen as well. And what these snakes love to do a lot of times in areas just like this, they're gonna be eating amphibian eggs, specifically from a frog species. Something I didn't mention with the last individual is that they're called cat-eyed cat snakes because if you get a close look, at their head, their eyes look just like that of a house cat. Hence the name, cat-eyed snake. Mildly venomous, and again, I would never recommend that you get up close with a venomous snake, but they are rear fanged, very non-prone to biting, which is why I feel very comfortable getting this up close to a venomous species. You can see the snake's demeanor is also really, really calm, which is another reason why I feel so comfortable being this close such a fascinating species well that was a very long night out here in the rainforest but we came across so many fascinating different animals two different cat-eyed snakes some of the most iconic frog species in all of central america and to make sure you see tomorrow night's adventure make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on i'll see you guys on the next adventure